Uh, yeah. Girl Cardi B dropped the album this week, bro. Yeah, man. I'm going to with Cardi. Bartier, Cardi. Cardi yeah. with the Barty. Barty with the party. Yeah, all of that. Already with the starty. All of that. So how you how you listen to it? I did. All right. Me too. Me too. Listen to it? Yeah, I, I, I listen to it. Um, so, I mean, just off rip, um, you want to break it down or you want to give it a score offhand? Um, we can break it down a little bit. We can all talk right, about man. it. Any, anything that stand out on the album for you? Oh, uh, man. There's a couple of tracks. I mean, definitely the Chance the Rapper one. Yo, that hook is my, fire, man. What is it called? Live My Life or yeah, something like that? Yeah, Live My Best, best Life. Best Life or something like that? Yo, that okay. hook is fire, my nigga. I love the hook, that hook. It I'll has the right mind. amount of uh, shit talking, the right amount of positivity mm-hmm. to it. And I mean, Chance did this thing on the verse. Mm-hmm. I, I just love that track right there. That's that's my shit. All right. That and um, the joint with Kalani. That ring, I love, I love the, uh, yeah. the the court, the hook on that one too. Yeah, yeah, definitely, that's dope. Definitely. That's dope. That's like so, an old school kind of vibe to me. So those two tracks definitely stand out for yeah. me too. And then um, also the track with uh, the dude Bad Bunny and and Jay Balvin. Yeah, yeah, man. That, I mean, I've been, I've been a, I've been into Bad Bunny for a while now, and um, I mean. Yeah, <laughs> good looks, good looks. Thanks for saving me on that one, man. If I ain't save myself, I got my dog. I'm fire for that. Yeah, man. No, are you gonna give me fire? I thought you were saving me. Uh, <laughs> you just gonna let me have it. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I, I been fucking with back, but yeah, pause all that too. But <laughs> yeah, 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 he, he, he dope, he dope, he dope. Yeah, Although yeah. I don't know what the fuck, what the fuck he rapping saying? about. You know what I'm saying? Shit goes though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, yeah. I, was, I, I like that joint uh, because it give like a little Spanish vibe. Mm-hmm. Or whatever, whatever, and you know she she's a what well, she's Dominican or some shit like that. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it's a couple of joints on there, and then obviously Bodak Yellow. Yeah, and then you know the the, the Bartier Cardi joint mm-hmm. starting to grow on me. Yeah. Um, I thought the intro was fire. She definitely, intro, she intro, definitely, yeah, yeah. It's definitely Meek Mill esque. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> exactly what that was, man. That, yeah. that was definitely um the intro. That's the Meek yeah. Mill joint side. Yeah, yeah, that's what that was, man. So that one. Um, mm-hmm. and then it's a it's the the one track uh the one with uh. YG's got that got everybody mm-hmm. talking. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, yeah, well she said some some crazy shit about a threesome or something on that. Yeah, she said basically uh, she wanted a threesome with Chrissy Teigen and and, and uh and uh She wanted Rihanna. it or she had it. She want one. With Chrissy like, Teigen like and Rihanna? Up, yeah, like what's up with the threesome type shit. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> shit, that'll You sell. fuck with Chrissy Teigen? Um, not really. I mean, that song John Legend's song. Yeah, like I thought that was kind of wild for her to throw her in there. I was just yeah, like, yeah, but you know what, man? It's 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 wild. Like, is that but your you, homegirl? Is that why? Nah, you know I mean? nah. But you gotta look at the star power of Chrissy Teigen, you know, and the whole um dynamics of her and John Legend's relationship. You know, it's kind of like that. You know. This nigga made fucking great romantic songs about her. You know what I'm saying? So they've been together that long. Yeah, they've been been together for I mean, I'm probably I want to say at least three years or so. Uh, if I'm guessing, probably more than here, that. You're not here for the facts. You're here for, <laughs> you're the, opinions. for the opinions. So cut it out. <laughs> exactly. If you want to type anything on the this, just go ahead and do it. <laughs> just go ahead and do it. But Stop don't, it. don't come at me though. <laughs> you, know, you, you, know, you know what we need to do for our cut viewers, nigga? We need, to, <laughs> yeah. we need to get a fucking ruler and just slap the damn camera every single time. Hey, hey I see, I see, I see what you're about to do. <laughs> Stop it. Just, just say what you got to. Say, don't come at me though. <laughs> yeah, Stop yeah. It. Put them thumbs down. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. man. But I, I was, I was kind of surprised by that pairing, like you know, yeah. Chrissy Teigen, and I mean, I, I guess. Mm, listen, man. Hey, so, I, I, don't know. I guess it'd have been doper if she did it. But that, you know what? Um, that's my issue. And you know, again, cut it out. Don't, don't, don't tap me for this right, right here. I'm just, I'm just speaking my mind. Yeah. I, you know, I love female rappers and I love female rappers when they have dope singles and shit like that that plays yeah. on the radio. However, it's, it's kind of hard for me to um, get into a female's album. Outside of like Lauren Hill or, you know what I'm saying, any other rappy rap uh, females, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I can't really boast, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to rap along with songs and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm listening to an album, especially from a female, like, I don't want to get caught slipping saying you know what I'm saying I got myself a new purse like <laughs> I got you I you got see you. what I'm I trying to say so you. it's like I really don't you know what I mean so if she's talking about you know well I guess I could say I want a threesome with Chrissy Teigen and Rihanna I do true 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 <laughs> you know what true. I mean but some of the things that they're gonna say is not really gonna be something I want to slip up and say and like hold up wait, what you know what I'm saying well you know <laughs> you know I think what's missing from this album for me is yeah. like a, a few heartfelt songs besides the 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 
Yeah. The uh, the joint that came out the other day, uh, be careful. And yeah. then then we find out that that's ghost yeah. written. My yo, you know but what I'm my, one of my favorite artists is man. I don't know how this dude hasn't been popping off. Partisan man. fine. You put yeah. me on to him. Yeah, man. Partisan I fuck with that dude, man. Yeah. 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 So I mean, <clears throat> we find out that the song is ghost written mm-hmm. by him, and it's like for me. It's still a dope song, yeah, yeah, but it, it kind of takes away from it. Mm-hmm. Like even recently, um, I found out that uh, I think Royce the Five Nine wrote that song on Dr. Dre's 2001, the Chronic album, the song about his brother. Mm. It's like towards the end of the album, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, <clears throat> Royce the Five Nine wrote that song. Yeah, and it's not about Dr. Dre's brother. Oh, okay. But the parallels are pretty much the same. Oh, okay. And I see word for word, Dr. Mm. Dre took this song, and like I remember when I heard it, I was like, "Damn!" Like, well, oh man. We knew that's what Dre does, though. He's been doing that. Yeah, but. I thought it was about Dr. Dre's brother. It's yeah. not. It's about yeah. Royce the Five Nine's brother. Right, right. And you know that's and that's what they that's what people out there are say, and that's what they want us to accept. They're like, you know, some of the greatest artists out there have taken from somebody else, or you know, what I mean, they've sung songs that are written to somebody else. But you know what? It's kind of different when you you feel like. The message is coming from somebody, you know what I mean? Yes. And you, you're playing with my mental emotions, like, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? I, I hear this person's um, vocal inflections and, you know, the tone of their yeah. voice when they're singing it. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like they're for real about it, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. They're selling me on it, you know what I mean? Which is a good job. However, when I come to find out it's not them, then it's kind of like, yo, like, it really takes the air out the fucking balloon, and, you know. And that's how that's how that song came across to me. Yeah. Like two days later, when I found out that right, she right, I was just like, "Yo, yeah, you know, we know that she got ghostwriters and stuff mm. like that." It's songs that you could like the drip song. You could obviously tell the Migos wrote that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was doing the flow yeah. all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean. Overall, mm. I think that it's a good album. Mm, so, mm. but it's not for me. Oh, yeah. All right. So one to ten. One to ten. Where you gonna give it at? Six. Six. And that's right above good. That's right above. Yeah. Yeah. Average. Yeah. Right above average. I, I, yeah. I, I would. It, I would say it it's right above average. Yeah. But not not in not in a great or legendary or any of those things. Yeah. I mean, look. She had look at the end of the day, and then we're just keeping it real. She had the world's attention. Definitely. Did she deliver on? On that, did she give him? She gave him enough to hold him off, but I think for her fans, she yeah. did. Mm-hmm. But in general, she didn't. Right, and I don't want to yeah. sit here and yeah, hate this, on the yeah, album. Yeah, this is not and, this is not me hating. Yeah, and I'm saying this is this is media me now. I'm learning to be media killer now because yeah. <laughs> she really have to paraphrase every goddamn thing now. Listen, listen, listen. You gotta give a disclaimer look, look, before everything. Look, cut it out, cut it out. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. All right. <laughs> I like the album. Yeah. I will go ahead and give it another listen. There is at least four to five songs on there I can fucks with. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I, is it going to be an album I remember three, four months from now? Mm-mm. Nah. 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 Not, this ain't it. Nah. nah. And, I, and I mean, one of the, 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 the thing that kind of annoys me the most about the album is, yeah. is, is her voice, dude. The, vo- mm, the voice really? in the. Her voice and the accent. I think that. Nah, I think I that's think, what worked for her. Yeah. If you think about it, if you mm. you remember when Lil Kim dropped Hardcore, mm. right? Yeah. Think about the difference in vocal tone, vocal mm. inflection from Lil Kim on Hardcore mm-hmm. and Lil Kim on The Naked Truth. Okay. And even Foxy mm. on her first album versus the one that had uh, Brooklyn, mm. where I grew up at. Grew up at. Mm. Like the, the vocal inflections change. Mm-hmm. Like. Cardi Cardi sounds like huh, Cardi like she putting the extra <laughs> yeah like she putting the extra on uh, her yeah, voice yeah, to yeah, make yeah. it sound like and I feel like later on yeah. she, gonna she gonna get relax. a little more feminine like and yeah. kind of talk like in her natural tone yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying like that's her rapper voice that we yeah. hear on on the right. track I mean but you gotta remember like like just like we said like these songs are written by somebody else so it's her oh, yeah. karaoke. In. You know what I'm saying? True, true, true. So this is her doing her best to karaoke somebody else's shit. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, look, she could rap. She could carry a flow. You know what I'm saying? She, I, I would say she understands the good structure of, of a song. Whoever she's working with was able to, yeah, you know what I'm saying, part. help her out with that. Mm-hmm. So hopefully she carried that on and, and, and put some big, 
put more of Car- Cardi B into her music. I mean, maybe she used this time to start writing. Yeah. And, um, you know I mean? She's trying to find her, who she is and what yeah. her identity is and put it out there on a song. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I can't say, look, don't get some help. Get some help. Yeah. But however, I, I would write, I want it to be Cardi. I want to give her a shout out for uh, for proving me wrong, man, because yeah. uh, I remember, I think, back when Bodak Yellow came out, yeah. I was thinking, like, you know, this is just going to be it. that one hit song. Uh-huh. Like, nobody ain't really going to fuck with the album from mm. her. But then, you know what I mean? I didn't really take into consideration how strong her um, social media following is. Yeah, yeah. And how, you know, nah, she, a lot of these ratchets she, out here really, too, really bang with her, man. Too too big to fail, man. She's yeah, too, yeah, she yeah. made herself too big to fail. And um, yeah. that's that's what's going to help her with this album. I'm pre- I, I'm predicting, what you what you predicting on sales? And I'm not, like, a numbers guy at all. Well, I was just, At all, I was I, I'm, saying, I'm I, probably gonna be way the fuck off. But what you what you got? I was listening to another podcast and mm-hmm. they was talking about basically saying that she got a cheat code because they count Bodak Yellow, they count Bodak Yellow yeah. and um, Marty or Cardi Marty into Cardi. Yeah. spins for the album. Right, I guess yeah. across all of so mm. as of. This the same day the album came out, I heard it went gold already. Mm. So if that's the case, mm-hmm. I assume that it's gonna go new age platinum by next week, mm. or by the by the time the the, 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 right. the shits yeah, come yeah. out. Okay, so, so yeah. I'm I'm guessing new age platinum. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, like album sales wise, I guess I I, I, I put in the, the the hundred and fifty thou. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm seeing it. You think so? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I don't because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. But like, like, like I, said, I see, I see ring. Okay, you might be right with Bodak and all that. Yeah, being all there, that count that's towards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's already, right, it's so, already gold. All right, all right, you're right, you're right. So what, what, what would we say her next single should be then? Off of listening. Um, her next single off of listening oh, should we just, be the Kalani joint. Yeah. That's what I was gonna yeah, say for sure, for sure, for sure, definitely, for sure. Because I, I mean, like listening to the damn album, like I was doing the same thing when I was listening to the damn album. I was like, all right, this is gonna be the next one, that Rihanna joint, and then the other one, the the um, the love me. I was like, yeah, right, yeah, that yeah. gonna be, and it went just the way I, I predicted it. Yeah. you know what I mean, so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it is, man. Shout out to Cardi, man. Yeah, shout out to Cardi. Like man. Like I said, man, it ain't the album made for me, but I fucks with it. Hey, man, good job, media us, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> Cut it out. Yo, if you like that clip, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And go ahead and leave a comment. Become a part of this conversation. Hit us with them thumbs up. And remember, you're not here for the facts. You're here for the opinions. It's Bootleg Kid Podcast. The realest.